Welcome back to What RT Nibs for General Disturbance. This is a 105 FH18B2, the French Tier 5 Premium SPG, otherwise known as Fifi La Piu Piu, sits down on the side of the vehicle. And this one is on the north spawn of Prokhorovka under the command of Steel Mike. Now, I would say that this was going to be a normal. I'd like to say this is going to be a normal battle. Unfortunately, it's not. No, I'm afraid there's a troll on this team. And he's going to cause grief to the arty. The other players. He's in the Chi Nu. And his name is coming up as Sapo. Sapos Hard 200 101. But that's not his true identity because the guy's using an anonymizer. Well, Steel Mike pulled away from his spawn point but decided he didn't want to go to the west side of the map because too few other tanks had gone there and. That means that that side's more than likely going to fold very quickly without any support. So he's decided to go down to the railway line. Well, the Chinu, the, the troll, is sitting on top of the railway line. Down below is a Hummel. And just a short distance away is a Gorilla, Bulldog SRO. And, well, Bulldog SRO is going to be attacked by Chinu by Sapoz Hard 200-101 and here he goes and he starts firing at his own RT. Now there's no team damage so he's not actually having any effect and of course that upsets Steel Mike and so he drives up to Sapoz Hard to try and stop him from attacking the gorilla. Pushing him away to, to sort of say no don't attack him. And instead, what actually happens is that Sapos Hard, the Chinu, starts firing at Steel Mike. Well, Steel Mike doesn't mind that because he's big enough and heavy enough that a Chinu, a little medium tank, can't push a heavy tank around because it's just too heavy. The Fifi, or the 105FH18B2, weighs over 30 tons. It's a heavy tank. It's based on the Char B1. And so a little medium tank is not really going to have much impression on an RT like this. And we can see that Steel Mike's continuing to fight the battle. In fact, he's now saying, please report the Genu for being a... Yes, well, quite. He is. He's being very silly. First, he started shooting at the gorilla. And now he started shooting at Steel Mike. Well, Steel Mike is a, such a fool that he's actually now been reported by the gorilla as well because he was the one he originally started shooting at and he's continuing to shoot at Steel Mike. Steel Mike is uh, shooting at the enemy. Oh and he just got a lovely hit. <laughs> hit one of the T3485M up on top of the hill and the Chinu just wasting ammunition but being a complete a hole by uh, trolling his own teammates. Well, what we do at What RT Noobs is we alert people to these a holes, just like Klaus Kellerman does, and we let everyone know that what they are and who their name is so that they can avoid them in the future. If they come across them in battle, then they will be alerted that this person happens to be on their team and they can either take avoiding action. Or they can do something about it if they happen to be on the enemy team by focusing their fire on them to make sure their game is thoroughly unpleasant. Well, the Chinu is considering continuing to be a troll. You can't see him occasionally because the replay manager sometimes won't let teammates show. Yep, there we go. He's peered again. And he disappears again. But he's still there. And he's still shooting at Steel Mike. And Steel Mike's carrying on with his game. And the Chinu, well, he's given up now. He stopped being a troll. Oh, just one last shot. Or two. Yep, having no effect whatsoever, Mr. Chinu. Yep, you might as well be firing them at the moon for all the good it will do. Yep, no effect. Totally wasting your ammo. At least if he's doing it to us, he's not doing it to the gorilla. And if he's doing it to the gorilla, he's upsetting that guy's game. 
and what Steel Mike's done is very laudable because he's actually tried to protect one of his teammates from a troll and for that he should be congratulated. Unfortunately it looks like the team are going to lose this game. They've lost the eastern flank, the hill and well they're four tanks down on the enemy now and despite the fact that uh, Steel Mike's trying to get some damage on them he had to relocate there because that I think that was an enemy round coming back in. He didn't suffer any damage, but it looks to me like the enemy is making a move and there's nobody guarding them in the center either. So I suspect that it won't be long before the enemy tanks appear. And he's been spotted. Somebody spotted him. Uh, Cromwell B's just fired at him. And an M41 HM, uh, M41A1 gets the kill shot. So yes, I think this game's going to end very, very shortly. Especially considering that the Chinu is still not taking part in the game. He's just gone down to the water. And I think any second now we're going to see that he drowns himself. Oh, there you go. The Chinu has dived into the water for an early bath. And he's drowned himself. What a loser. Only losers drown themselves. All the Wat RT Noobs members know full well that you can earn extra XP and extra damage and extra credits if you go at the enemy. Don't drown yourself. Fight. Even if you have to ram the enemy and die in the process, you still earn something extra and it's worth it. Especially when you see the looks on the front of their vehicles or the way their vehicles re react when you ram them. <laughs> you come at them like a madman. They wonder what the hell's going on and sometimes you actually win because the enemy tank does die in the process. But unfortunately, yes, I think this game is definitely going to be a loss. We're watching as the Cavalier fires rounds at the M4A1. As he's attacking the AT2. The AT2's dead and the Cavalier is now taking rounds. And he's gone as well. And that's it. Game over. So let's have a look at the end of battle results and we'll see the true name of the troll. Well, this is the end of battle results and we can see that Steel Mike in the 105 FH-18B2 didn't get any medals at all, but he did get some shots on the enemy. And we can see that he managed to get 200 hit points, no kills, but 65 XP. The troll, Sapo Zard 200-101, that's not his real name, he's using the anonymizer, which actually does tend to protect the trolls as much as it protects um, the higher tier players who are reasonably good and don't want to be identified. Yes, uh, this player did absolutely no damage on the enemy, no kills and just 20 XP for turning up. But that's not his true identity and I'll re now reveal his true identity so we can actually see his real name. It's Panzer No Glowy. That is his real name. Was that Panzer No Glowy? Yes, well, this is the person, and uh, that's the player that will be added to the mod. So if we see this player appear in any battles, that's the one you've got to watch out for and avoid. Or if he happens to be on the enemy team, make sure you focus your fire on him. Make sure his game ends very quickly, very uncomfortably. And uh, then obviously he'll realise sooner or later that maybe it's uh, not the best thing for him to be in this game. Uh, because his battle experience is very brief and very explosive. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please give uh, this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.